Good morning, Gatsby. I haven't done an aquarium update in a while, so check it out. It pretty much looks exactly the same as before. I got the red slime. It's coming back again, so I think I might have to do another one of these. I see a lot of bryopsis, but I'm going to try to pluck as much as possible. I think it's because the magnesium level is a little low, so I'm going to also do a water change, because look at this. I had to pluck out all the disgusting stuff. <laughs> He's hanging out. <laughs> what are you doing? That's where all the salt water stays. And finally, peace is restored back into the aquarium. Woo! Sorry guys, I guess there's stuff on the lens. Let me wipe you off with the lens wipe. How's that? Now that I have the puppy, there's a lot to upkeep. <laughs> the apartment gets messy so often, so I have to keep cleaning it. I have to make sure he's okay. Hey, what's up? I have to brush your teeth, brush your hair, make sure you're all clean all the time. I have to train him and I have to do my aquarium and I have to clean the kitchen area, his potty area. There's a lot to do now. And I'm also working at the same time and trying to edit the vlogs and do my own website, lifeaftercollege.com. So it seems like it's taking up a lot of my time. And watch movies, of course. <laughs> and then I have to go to the gym. I don't know how I'm doing it all right now. You are crazy. What are you doing to your bed? What is this? Going underneath again? And I have to do the laundry and I have to cook dinner and all the other meals too. Anyway, but I'm like getting ready to go to the gym. I'm watching PvP at the same time, be a first GF. Look at that sock. Look at this sock. What? We have the same sock. I did a vlog on um, gym gear. If you go to my channel page, you can click on the fitness videos playlist that I have there. So check it out and I'll see you guys at the gym. <laughs>
And now it's time for me to make a really quick green smoothie. I already put the kale inside. I have some kara kara oranges in here. Apple juice is always a really good ingredient to add to kale um, to make it taste better. I have some lemons here, frozen bananas, frozen fruit. And the, another good thing to have is ginger because mixing a lot of fruit together can give you a stomach ache. So ginger helps with that. And I have my chia seeds over here. And there we go, look at this. Full of fruit and nutrients. So delicious colored. Mmm, good. And you can't even taste the kale at all. So this carpet is getting a little bit dirty here. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna clean it. Got some resolve here. Let's do this. And check it out, it's all clean, woo! Do you like the fan? <laughs> You're so weird. You like the fan? Feels good? <laughs> Yeah? Vacuuming the floors. Gatsby's totally okay with the vacuum. I trained him. See? He's totally fine with it. So I don't have to worry like I did with Bentley. And it's all nice and clean, huh Gatsby? Thank you for helping me. How did I get the dog to like the vacuum? When he's in his stages from 8 to 12 weeks, that's apparently the best time to introduce the dog to everything because puppies are open to, to new things and they're not afraid of anything. So I definitely may try vacuumed a lot. After 12 weeks, apparently their brain, something happens in their brain that causes them to become fearful of a lot of things. That everything that they hadn't been introduced to yet. Made sure I was like, I want him to be okay with the vacuum and I want him to be barking, especially because corgis shed like crazy and so I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna be vacuuming a lot in the future. Gatsby hanging out with all of his toys. I have the Trader Joe's kale here. I don't like the stems. They're like the most disgusting part, but thank goodness Gatsby likes them. Crunching away. Here's some more. Mmm, look at all this delicious steaming kale here. Just making some kale and quinoa. I feel like I uh, want to be healthy today, so. Look at this gigantic pile of kale here. Tricolored corgi. Tricolored quinoa. I felt like I've been really unhealthy recently because I've been eating a lot of Oreos and peanut butter and pretzels and Nutella, yeah. This will help. And before I go to bed, I thought that I would catch you guys up on all the movies that I've been watching. First movie I saw, August Osage County. It was, it came out last year. It was nominated for Best Supporting Actress for Julia Roberts and Best Actress for Meryl Streep. I thought the performances were amazing. I did feel that the adaptation into a movie kind of hindered it a little bit. A lot of the scenes didn't come off as strong as I thought the play may have come across. The story is about family problems. So my final review for August Osage County out of four stars would be three stars. Next movie, Inside Lewin Davis. Another movie that came out last year. Surprisingly, it wasn't really nominated for very many Academy Awards, although it was nominated for a lot of Golden Globes. This movie is by the Coen Brothers. I really, really loved this movie. It was amazing. I was surprised it wasn't nominated for Best Original Screenplay, because I thought it was amazing. It does feel a little bit like reading an AP English book just because there's a lot of literary analysis that you need to know. For example, um, the significance of the cat and how it plays a role in the movie. It's very dry, ironic humor. That's what the Coen brothers are into. I think it was just a really, really great, very well-made movie, but I don't think too many people would like it. <laughs> Having said that, I would give Inside Lewin Davis three and a half out of four stars. Next movie I saw was The Lone Ranger. This is the Johnny Depp movie from Disney with Jerry Bruckheimer. My expectations were incredibly low for the movie because, well, it got terrible reviews. I didn't think the movie was that bad. The main problem for the movie was the screenplay. It was way too long, two and a half hours for this, this movie, like, 
They could have really shortened it down and just made it a lot more entertaining. The plot was just, ugh. The movie was very well made though, and it looked very, very expensive. Out of four stars, I would give this one two and a half. Next movie I saw, Side Effects. This came out a couple of years ago. This is Steven Soderbergh's movie with Rooney Mara, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Jude Law, and Channing Tatum. What happens to doctors when they make a mistake with a prescription? It's a movie about this woman who goes through a lot of depression and gets all the side effects to the drugs that she's taking. I don't want to give away too much more, but I want to say that the movie ended up not being very realistic and it felt a lot more like a law and order kind of situation. Having said that though, I still thought it was pretty well made. There were so many twists and turns in the plot, I was kind of like, did it really need it? I kind of liked it though, so I would give it three out of four stars. The final movie on my list is another movie that I really liked, coming of age stories, such as The Way Way Back or The Perks of Being a Wallflower. This one was The Spectacular Now. It was amazing. This one stars uh, Miles Teller and Shailene Woodley. Very well acted and just felt very real. It was a very honest film. You don't see these kinds of movies very often, um, in the theaters anymore. It doesn't have like some amazing crazy plot that has everything. It's just a very subtle, very pleasant, well-made movie. So my final review for The Spectacular now out of four stars would be three and a half. So Inside Lewin Davis and The Spectacular now get three and a half stars and they would actually make it on my top 10 list for our best movies of 2013. And so yeah, those are all the movies. Now you're all caught up. Doing a doggy selfie. Okay, guys, it's getting super late, and I'm gonna head to bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Yeah, good dog. <laughs>